Nabu don't, Nabu do. <laughs> okay, so that was my um, hilarious intro, but <laughs> Nabu don't, Nabu do. Anyway, so go to nabu.ca. Let's get you guys online with your Nabus. Um, go click on the downloads button and select the Nabu internet adapter. And now you got your Windows version, Mac, and of course Linux. So if you're a Linux guy, you're gonna know exactly what to do, install Mono, um, launch the application, uh, throw it on your Raspberry Pi, whatever. So here we go, click download it, and your downloads folder, launch your setup. And of course, Windows doesn't want you to get any viruses from me. <laughs> we got too many monitors, what's going on here? And uh, let's select to install. Booyah. I'm using a certificate as well, so we got a signed application. Don't worry about it. Things are all good. Now it'll download any news. So if we have um, any updates for you, like we edit the main menu or add new software, then you're going to get a little bit of little information about it. Now go into your settings right off the get-go. Select your COM port that you're going to be using. Everything else is fine. I can go over that later. So click Save. Start your server. And then your NABU should just start loading. Okay, so we'll just wait for this to finish loading here. Booyah, we have a menu, you can play some games, everything's working fine. Now, for those of you who wanna do homebrew stuff, so first off with homebrew, you need to compile your code to have an origin of Let's get into our Nabu uh, reanimator here. So I'll just load up my Hello World to demonstrate to you. So set your origin to 140D, okay? Then read about all of the different ports that are available to you so that you know what hardware you're talking to, okay? And when you compile your application, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go into your file, settings, source, and change this checkbox to use your local folder. And then select a folder on your computer someplace. So in which case, for example, we'll select C drive uh, NABU segments is where I like to keep mine. And then name your file when you compile it to We'll take a look at my batch file. Name it 00001.nabu. So one, two, three, four, five zeros and a one dot nabu. Okay, so just your binary file. And put it into your nabu segments file. Because when you do that, that will be the file that the boot ROM on the NABU is going to look for. And it's going to look for that 0001 file. So we're going to load the entire program when that happens. So what I'll do to demonstrate it is I have my NABU segments file folder selected. I have a checkbox here. I'll click save. I'll compile my hello world. So we'll turn the NABU off and back on again. That way we can clear any call stack that isn't being um, removed with the reset button. Now what I can do is I can start the server. We'll wait for it to boot up. There we go, it called the application and there is our custom homebrew application. So that's how you install homebrew. And to go back to running the, uh, the regular cycle, just stop your application, Go back into settings, change the source, uncheck your box here. And then what you're gonna have to do is uh, click start and then start your, uh, your NABU up again and start playing games. Okay, that's everything. I hope that answers all the questions and let's see you guys on the NABU network.